Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Will the gentleman yield to a question? He will yield. Yes, uh, I am blessed to have uh, my daughter and son-in-law live out in the uh, state of Colorado, and I get to go visit my grandkids every now and then. And while I was out there, I thought, well, I'm going to stop by one of these medical dispensaries. And even though I couldn't get in because I wasn't a resident, the gentleman stopped by that was running the store and came out and talked with me. And we talked for a little bit, and I said, uh, I asked him, I said, so has anyone pregnant ever come into your, off into your store? And he's like, oh, yeah, we get that all the time. And he said, said yeah, we have it because it helps their nauseous, being nauseous. So my question to you, gentlemen, is how does that affect that life inside the women's womb? Gentleman from Jefferson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I appreciate the question. Obviously, we care a great deal about babies in the womb, every one of us in this room here today. Um, it would affect them in ways that are obviously profound, perhaps, but one could not get the product unless the phys their physician says it will help them. Let me say that again. No one can get this product, this medication. There's a lot of other medication pregnant people use that, hurt, that, that affect uh, their, their, their offspring. We're not trying to make that illegal. No one can get medicinal cannabis, including pregnant women, unless their physician allows them to. Gentleman from Christian. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Can I speak on the bill? Yes, sir. The next stop I stopped was a state police officer that was on the side of the road. And I pulled up next to him, and I, I thought, you know, I'm going to ask him the same question. I said, so I asked him, I said, uh, tell me about marijuana, medical marijuana. What's your thoughts? And he looked at me, and he said it was the worst mistake we ever made. I'll end with that. Thank you, sir.